This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Nicole Griffin, and these are the latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. Metro Police say they have suspects in custody after an exchange of gunfire involving a police officer. Here is where this went down around 7 this morning. IMPD says an officer tried to pull over a suspect near East 10th and North Tuxedo Streets. That's when someone inside the car being pulled over fired shots at the officer. The officer was not hit and returned fire. No injuries were reported and police tell us they arrested the driver and a passenger in the car. Their names have not been released. The effort continues on the city's west side to provide a safe place for people transitioning out of homelessness. In November, we told you about plans to build a tiny house village on South Lynnhurst Drive near Morris Street. Well, today we met with youth leaders, with the leaders there for the Circle City Villages who say they are making progress. They are hoping to build 28 tiny homes on land donated by Lynnhurst Baptist Church. It will be a safe place for people making the transition to stay, a place that will help them get back on their feet. Looking at initially two years, but if um, over the course of time, if they're a good resident, they need to stay longer. We're happy to have them a bit longer as needed. So a lot of time to um, look at employment, looking, going back to school um, and time just to feel safe and not have to be exposed to the elements and wonder where they're going to be sleeping that night. In order to move forward, they need to raise $10,000. They have started a GoFundMe page for donations. Money will help them pay for fees they need to apply to for permits to rezone the property and eventually help develop the land. Leaders say donations are critical right now to start this process. We have a link up on how you can help on the RTV6 app. Kyle. Another beautiful and mild day in our Monday forecast. We will increase the clouds a little bit as the day goes along, but once again, those temperatures will make their way around 60 degrees, which is close to record territory. 62 in Columbus, 56 in Lafayette. Tuesday, things start to change. We start off mild, but those temperatures will be falling through the afternoon as we have some scattered rain showers. And then as we get into Tuesday night and again Wednesday night, a couple of systems that could bring a wintry mix and some snow as temperatures return to highs in the 30s. Kyle, thank you. For more weather and stories you need to know, download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.